Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. I want to give a shout out to Brian and Steve and Scott and for the way they bring the grip to us each morning. Guys, it, it's fun to be able to do this, uh, to sit down and study and share and uh, the way those guys bring it. I'm, I'm thankful for each one of them for their impact on my life, uh, for the counsel that they give, for the friendships uh, that I have with each of those men. Uh, I pray that you have men like that in, in your life as well, not just on this uh, YouTube video, but in, in real life, in person, somebody that you can talk to, somebody that you can learn from, and I'm, I'm thankful for each one of these men. Today, we are in Acts chapter 7. This is my last day with you uh, this month. I've enjoyed the first six chapters. Uh, I pray that you have too, and I look forward to what uh, the Lord's going to bring us through the rest of this book uh, with our next set of videos about to start tomorrow. What verse or verses rose up for you? For me today, only one, verse 55. This was a long chapter full of the history uh, of Israel. And I, I keyed in on one very special verse. Let me read that for you now. Here's my G, God's word. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed steadily into heaven and saw the glory of God. And he saw Jesus standing in the place of honor at God's right hand. Here's my arm, I reveal. Even in times of trial and persecution, the Holy Spirit will lead and guide us. Stephen looked beyond his circumstances and saw heaven opened with Jesus at God's right hand. I long to see this at my trials, that God may be glorified. Here's Stephen, about to be stoned to death, uh, answering questions of the high council, sharing the history of Israel. Um, and the way Jesus was persecuted by these very men that are about to stone him. Uh, amazing that he would be given this power, but that was the power of the Holy Spirit inside of him. Here's my eye, my implementation. To be full of the Spirit, we must stay close to him. Picture a vine with us connected as branches, feeding us our nutrients throughout the, the Word, through the Word, to face life's troubles. Only then will we be full of, the, full of the Spirit and ready to face what will come our way? I want you to picture your cell phone charger. How many of you are like me? I don't like to see my cell phone go down to 10, 20%, whatever. Throughout the day, I'm in my car a lot driving between uh, any script Bible studies and going and seeing and meeting people. Um, I throw my phone in the, in the charger. Uh, I, I keep it connected to that charger so that the power stays up. I hate to see it below 70%. I don't know why. That's just the way God made me. Don't question me. Uh, that just That's just the way I'm, I am. I'm sorry. Um, I like to stay connected to the power source and keep my phone fully charged. That's the picture that we need to have with us, being in the Word, being in the Spirit, being with God all the time, so that when things arise like this with Stephen, we're prepared. Uh, we're ready to face anything that comes our way. If you're connected to the vine, that's what will happen. Uh, I promise you. Here's my P, my prayer. Follow Stephen's model and bring glory to your name, Lord, even in the face of death. May we always be prepared to give an account of what we believe and why. In Jesus' name, amen. That's what it's about. It's about bringing glory to his name. Uh, let's don't forget that. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, thank you for this story of Stephen. Thank you for the power of testimony. Uh, within our lives. I pray that uh, the Spirit would be unleashed in our lives. And Father, we would never be same and I, the same in the corner of our, our world would never be the same. I pray, Father, that your power be displayed, not ours, that your will be done, not ours, uh, and that glory would be brought to your name, just like Stephen did right here in the face of death. Father, we love you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I've had a wonderful week with you. I pray that you be blessed. Uh, I look forward to uh, what's going to come in the coming days. Uh, and I pray that uh, his will be unleashed in your life. Send me those verses. Uh, continue to send those. I love reading those and catching up with you. And I will see you soon.